My name is Tristan Massey, a six foot four, 218 pound quarterback, a left handed quarterback at that, and one of the best QBs in the nation. Without a doubt, I have the most armed talent in my class, and throughout my entire senior season, I've thrown nothing but dot. Even though I'm not known for making plays with my legs, going to the next level, I know I have to add that to my game. The New Mexico Lobos, the only school to offer me a full ride scholarship before I kind of popped off my senior year. Being one of the top quarterbacks in my class and overall ranked as one of the best players in the country, I could go to just about any college I want to. But instead, I'm going to dedicate my college career to taking New Mexico from the worst team in college football to national champion. Coming in as a true freshman, I was already well above average, really one of the best players on the team already. But before we do anything, I picked up a quick throw accuracy upgrade just to make sure I'm on point. My first practice with the team, we didn't start off on the greatest note. My teammate dropped this pass wide open. But after a few plays, we got things right and I started to grow a connection with some of my other receivers. And when nobody was open, I showed off some of that speed I had developed over the summer. My first collegiate start here against UTSA and we start off making big plays early in this game. And here on first and goal, I pick up my first collegiate touchdown i almost took a sack on this play for some odd reason coach called all goals on first and 10 but it worked out i connect with jace taylor on this huge 40 yard bomb we're in the fourth quarter and i have to lead a miracle drive so we can at least go down and tie this game up but even as a freshman i show no signs of being rattled i continue to deliver dots up the field under 40 seconds left clock is still running i'm trying to deliver dots but also get my guys out of bounds so we can stop the clock 15 seconds left in this game i roll out to my right i take a nasty hit trying to throw in the run and i get injured we lose this game 17 to 14 and if i didn't go down with that injury i have no doubt in my mind we would have won that game even though i had a great college debut i feel terrible knowing we didn't get this win. We kick off this game against UTEP running the read option to absolute perfection. We have yet to establish who's wide receiver number one, but I got a few guys trying to make their case. Patience is my middle name. Rolling out to the left, setting my feet, and delivering an absolute dot to Jace Taylor in the end zone. And once again here on first and 10, I take this one in myself to increase our lead. But the dominance here in the first half continues. I'm just showing off at this point, delivering a 67-yard bomb to Elijah Queen. And to cap off this blowout, I hit my boy Chavez in the back of the end zone with a perfect pass right in the bucket. And of course, I walk out of here player of the game with six total touchdowns on the day one of our toughest opponents we're gonna face all year we got pit on the road a true test we're trying to make things happen here before halftime by at least putting up three points making this a four-point game i haven't really established a true connection with any of my receivers but elijah queen has been coming up big but even though we'd march all the way down the field i make my biggest mistake so far this season throwing a terrible interception back out here to kick off the third quarter making a huge play connecting with who i think is wide receiver number one jace taylor but even though we make some plays it wasn't enough to overcome pit on the road and we take our second l we're at home in the rain and we're looking to secure this dub against unlv i've never been able to make plays with my legs effectively but here on first and 10 i put a move on a defender and pick up 15 yards and jace taylor just continues to go crazy he's even making plays on the ground now did i mention jace taylor is out here making plays this guy is absolutely unbelievable he's going crazy the connection I've established with Jace is just out of this world. We continue to make big plays, picking up a huge touchdown here right before halftime. Don't get me wrong, my receivers are balling out right now, but this throwing a run is absolutely insane if I do say so myself. 17 completions on 25 attempts, over 400 yards passing. I went absolutely crazy today and just exploded for a huge game. After the game, I bought a couple of upgrades. These will definitely help me take my game to the next level. I kind of wish this was an away game. Coastal Carolina and has that beautiful teal turf feel. We're only in game five of the season, but I can honestly say Jace Taylor is wide receiver number one. But with that being said, some of the other receivers decided to turn their game up to a whole nother level after seeing I'm starting to favor Jace over them. With my arm talent and the speed we have at the receiver position, we're making some of the biggest plays in college football. But we cap off this win against Coastal with my boy Queen breaking tackles and taking off with his elite speed towards the end zone. Conference game against Wyoming this week and me and my boy Chavez connect early picking up 45 yards and i don't know if you forgot or not but i throw nothing but absolute dots i hit my boy erickson in the back of the end zone for a beautiful touchdown but of course when you throw dots like that they forget about your feet so i take off picking up the first and some here on this play this is easily one of the most dangerous throws i've made all season but a great grab by my boy jace under a minute left here in the half i dropped back extremely deep showing great patience and i hit my boy erickson for a tug mr andrew erickson he's trying to make the case that he's wide receiver number one 
when running great routes, making great catches, picking up another touchdown. We ended up pulling off the win here in the fourth quarter, one of my most complete games, almost 400 yards pass, and we balled out today. This Utah State team is 2-5, and five, but after watching film all week, we cannot sleep on these boys. But may I remind them, we're at our home field. We came to ball. Them boys better step up and come to play today. My old line has been doing a great job protecting me, but anytime I get the chance to roll out to my strong side and throw dots, I will. This entire game has been back and forth. We score, they score. We score, they score. Somebody got to come out on top. Tie game here at 35 under a minute left here in the fourth, but I find Erickson and we pick up 30 yards. There's no doubt in my mind that I could lead us up the field and win this game, but Andrew and his hands, they have other plans. We're here in overtime and I find my running back Chris Washington picking up the first touchdown of OT. Third and goal here, we have to get into the end zone and the read option works to perfection. I get an easy walk-in touchdown. Second and one, I hook up with Elijah Queen for a touchdown and we're headed into our third overtime. Our defense went and got a stop. They're so focused on me passing the ball, I roll out to my right and I fall into the end zone to get the game winning touchdown. We come out of here with the win at home against Utah State in a triple overtime thriller and we remain undefeated in the conference. Seven total touchdowns. That's it. That's all I got to say. Seven of them things on the day. Another conference game here against San Diego State. I'm not going to lie. Their stadium is beautiful. And crazy enough, with that pass, I break the New Mexico school record for the most passing touchdowns in a single season. It's been no contest here throughout the first couple of quarters. We take a commanding 21-0 lead right before the half. Not having any lead speed is one reason why I don't scramble, but getting blasted out of bounds is another. First and 10, this is just crazy. This ball bounced off the DB's helmet. Chavez made this crazy catch picking up 46 yards. But of course, I walk out of here player of the game with a very light three touchdowns. We get our first shutout of the season, 35 to nothing against San Diego State in their house. I open up this home game against Air Force going to my favorite target, Big Jace Taylor. Making our way up the field, I connect with my WR1 once again, picking up a touchdown. We're in the ninth game of the season. Please go ahead and give this man the bullet in the cough, bro. He is balling out of his mind. But hold on, don't sleep on Isaiah Chavez. I put this ball in a very tight window to pick up another tub. I drop back, letting this play completely overdevelop, and I find my speedster Elijah Queen coming across the field, picking up 28 on the play. But when you need some late fourth quarter magic, you know you can count on me, and I know I can count on my boy Mr. Taylor to come through in the clutch. Over 300 yards passing and four touchdowns, that'll earn you player of the game. Bro, this is the most packed I've ever seen our home stadium. We're slowly but surely changing the culture here in New Mexico. First and 10, I have an extremely clean pocket. I take off to my right, look back to my left. I find Jace Taylor wide open for a crazy touchdown. I haven't been showing my tight end nowhere near as much love as I should, but I launched this ball upfield, finding my boy Connor putting us right back in the red zone. I break another New Mexico record with the most passing yards in a single season, bro. Am I the greatest freshman quarterback of all time? Man, Elijah Queen is slowly but surely starting to emerge. I think it's safe to say he's clearly wide receiver number two. We find ourselves down a score late in the fourth quarter, and I have to lead the miracle drive to go down the score. 30 seconds left, we got three split wide. I take off to my right, and I dive into the end zone, tying this game up. Let's go. Everyone knows my boy Andrew does not have elite speed, but what he does possess is pristine route running. I hit my boy in the back of the end zone to take the dub over CSU. Me and the guys and our head coach, we all celebrate the dub midfield. 443 passing yards on the day. We needed every bit of it in this double overtime thriller. We're on the road against 8-2 and two Conference 4 Fresno State. If we don't come to ball today, we're going to get left in the dust. 3rd and 10, every single route is covered. I roll out to my left, plant my feet, and I find my boy Connor, and he picks up 52 yards. How many times do I have to tell you? Give this man the Belitnikov. He is making plays like no other. He is obviously the best receiver in the country. After making my way up the field using my arm, I cap this drive off with my legs, diving into the end zone to further our lead. Me and the guys rally up midfield. We got a great team win today. I don't think I put up nothing less than 300 yards a game this season, bro. I'm balling out of control. Final game of the season against ranked Boise State here playing on this beautiful blue turf field. This crowd is loud. Third and 15, I take off to my right full speed. I put a move on this DB and I fall forward picking up the first down. Some fourth quarter action. We're down 11. We need to play mistakeless football if we want to come back and win this game. And when it comes down to it, I'm going to put it all on the line. I take off towards the end zone. I hurdle my way in, getting flipped into the end zone for a touchdown. Defense went and got a stop. One minute left here in the fourth quarter. I see my main man wide open up the field, and for the first time, he fails me this season. But I told my boy, pick his head up. We're not going to let one mistake define us. We're going to march down the field and win this game. Second and in inches, Andrew draws the linebacker and his safety towards him, and that leaves Isaiah Chavez wide open for the game-winning touchdown. One coach in the red puffer, the other 
wearing the blue. They meet midfield to shake hands after a great football game. As a freshman, I lead the nation with over 4,400 passing yards on the season. Taking a look at my stats here at the end of my freshman season, don't get me wrong, I balled out, but those 23 picks, we gotta tighten that up over the summer. My freshman season has been nothing short of amazing, but we still have a lot to accomplish over these next three seasons. My sophomore year, we're looking to get ranked amongst the top 25 teams in the nation.